Come November 2012, we may be on the brink of repeating the 2000 Florida election debacle, but this time in several states with allegations of voter fraud, intimidation, and manipulation of voting machines added to the generalized chaos that sent the Bush-Gore race into overtime. Now, a recent study found the names of more than 1.8 million deceased persons still registered to vote on state rolls. Roughly 2.75 million people are registered to vote in more than one state. The voter rolls in many American cities include more names than the U.S. Census listed as the total number of residents over age 18. In all, 24 million voter registrations, that's 14% of the nation's total, contained major inaccuracies or were otherwise invalid. Now, this is a staggering number, given the close margins that decide many elections. Perhaps the simplest solution to this vexing issue is to require voters to present government-issued photographic identification at the polls. Voter ID can deter not just impersonation fraud at the polls, but also voting under fictitious voter registrations, double voting by individuals registered in more than one state or locality, and voting by illegal aliens. As the Commission on Federal Election Reform, headed by former President Jimmy Carter and former Secretary of State James Baker, reported in 2005, quote, the electoral system cannot inspire public confidence if no safeguards exist to deter or detect fraud or to confirm the identity of voters. Photo IDs currently are needed to board a plane, enter federal buildings, and cash a check. Voting is equally important, unquote. Voter ID is a common sense requirement passed by legislatures in states such as Georgia, Indiana, Texas, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama, and Kansas. But these efforts have been blasted by leftist advocacy groups like the ACLU, NAACP, and Brennan Center for Justice, which claim voter ID is solely an effort to suppress the vote of minorities and the poor, who tend to vote for Democrats. Now, this despite the fact that, according to a new Washington Post poll, 74% of Americans, including 65% of African Americans and 60% of Democrats, support having voters prove their identity before voting. In fact, the evidence from academic studies and actual turnout in elections is overwhelming that, contrary to the shrill claims of the opponents, voter ID does not depress turnout, including among the ranks of minority poor, and elderly voters. A study by the University of Missouri on turnout in Indiana and Georgia showed that turnout actually increased in the two elections after the voter ID law went into effect. A 2008 election survey of 12,000 registered voters across all 50 states found that fewer than nine people were unable to vote because of voter ID requirements, while a 2006 survey of more than 36,000 voters found only 23 people in the entire sample, that's less than one-tenth of one percent of reported voters, who were unable to vote because of an ID requirement. There is no question that every individual who is eligible to vote should have the opportunity to do so. It's equally important, however, that the votes of eligible voters are not stolen or diluted by a fraudulent or bogus ballot cast by an ineligible or imaginary voter. Where photo ID requirements have been implemented, it has not reduced turnout. What it does reduce is the corruption inherent in a haphazard, fraud-prone election system more befitting an emerging third world country than the world's leading democracy.